You know that feeling, right? That little notification pops up on your screen. A software update is available. You click install, you hold your breath while the machine restarts, and you just hope everything comes back online. But what happens when it doesn't? Let's get into a story about a totally routine update that spiraled into a complete system meltdown. And that quote just says it all, doesn't it? This stuff should be simple, it should be safe, but for one user, it turned into this incredibly stressful experience that, honestly, kind of shines a light on a fear a lot of us have, whether you're managing a server in your closet or in a data center. Okay, so before we dive any deeper, let's make sure we're all on the same page with this term, kernel panic. The simplest way to think about it is this. It's the operating system's brain hitting an error so bad, so fundamental, it can't even tell you what went wrong. It just stops, dead in its tracks. It is the absolute point of no return, and it's exactly where this story's going. All right, so let's meet the protagonist of our tech drama, a user who goes by the name Unmesh59. Now, they were doing everything right, just following the official guide to do a standard system upgrade on their Proxmox server. Totally by the book. And look, this wasn't some kind of wild experimental move. This was the official scripted upgrade path from Proxmox VE version 8 to version 9. This was designed to be the safe, predictable route, you know, the one that's supposed to just work. So the upgrade script runs its checks, and it only spits out one single solitary warning. There was a custom driver installed, it's called a DKMS module, for a pretty common Realtek USB network card. Unmissed 59 saw it, made a mental note, and thought, okay, no big deal. Everything else looked perfect. It really felt like it was safe to reboot. And then came that moment of truth, the reboot. The system went down to apply the update, and it never came back. Instead of a familiar login screen, there was just nothing. A cryptic, frozen failure message. The nightmare had officially begun. After a bit of frantic work, the user figured out the core of the problem. Here's the deal. They could still boot the system using the old kernel from before the upgrade. That worked fine. But the shiny new kernel that came with Proxmox 9, it was completely, utterly broken. Every single time they tried to load it, wham, it hit a brick wall. Kernel panic. So... With a system that was at least partially working, Unmesh 59 had to become a detective. The new kernel was obviously the victim here, but what was the cause? The investigation started, but this was like trying to solve a crime where the scene had been completely wiped clean. This really became the million dollar question. What on earth could be causing the brand new kernel to crash so hard and so fast? The troubleshooting had to start with the most obvious lead, Remember that one little warning from before the upgrade about the custom driver for the Realtek network card? Well, that was suspect number one. So the first logical step was to just physically unplug that device from the server. Take it out of the equation completely. And the result? Absolutely nothing. The system rebooted and crashed in the exact same way. The kernel still panicked. That first most promising lead was a total dead end. You can just feel the frustration starting to mount. Okay, plan A failed. On to the next suspect. The server also had a piece of more specialized hardware in it, a Google Coral AI accelerator. Now, these are really cool, powerful little devices, but they can sometimes be a bit finicky. So the next step seemed obvious. Physically pulled that card out of the machine too. And the result was, well, you can probably guess. Exactly the same. Kernel panic. At this point, every single non-essential custom piece of hardware has been removed, and the system still won't boot with the new kernel. The mystery was just getting deeper and deeper. And here it is. This is the absolute nightmare scenario for anyone trying to fix a computer. The crash was happening so early in the boot process that nothing was being written to the system logs. No error messages, no breadcrumbs, not a single clue. It was like the failure happened without leaving a single fingerprint behind. So after hitting a total brick wall, Unmish59 did what any of us would do. They turned to the internet. They posted their problem on a forum, and it quickly became this collaborative war room with smart, experienced system admins from all over the world jumping in to try and crack the case. And immediately, the theories just started pouring in. You know, hey, maybe it's a bootloader setting, or you should try a ZFS rescue disk. That might find it. Some people were absolutely convinced it had to be that Google Coral Accelerator, while others were sure it was the ghost of that original custom driver causing all the problems. The hive mind was buzzing, but nobody could agree. And this is maybe the most important part of the whole story. 
Even with all of these experts weighing in, even after all of the troubleshooting, they never found a single definitive root cause. The problem was just a ghost in the machine, some perfect storm of factors that took the system down without leaving a note. So if we can't solve the mystery, what's the takeaway here? Well, this is where the story shifts from being a frustrating tech problem to being a source of some really powerful, practical wisdom for the rest of us. This whole ordeal gives us a super clear roadmap on how to avoid the same fate. So here it is, your new pre-upgrade checklist, born from this nightmare. One, before you even start, unplug any weird or non-essential hardware. USB devices, AI cards, just get them out of there. Two, if you can, get rid of any custom drivers. Three, this is a big one. Always, always keep a known good older kernel that you can fall back on. It's the one thing that saved Unmesh 59 from being totally locked out. Four, have a rescue disk or a bootable USB stick ready to go. And five, document your settings. Seriously, just take a picture of your config screens with your phone before you touch anything. This just sums it up perfectly, doesn't it? Preparation is literally everything. This checklist isn't about being paranoid, it's about being a pro. Because when you're dealing with complex systems, there is no magical undo button for a catastrophic failure. In the end, this one user story points to something much bigger. You know, as we keep adding more powerful, more complex, and more specialized hardware into our systems, everything from AI chips to fancy networking cards, you have to wonder, are we accidentally making the simple, quote unquote, safe software update a thing of the past? It's definitely something to think about the next time that little update notification pops up on your screen. 